wanted to leave an angle on so the blue to be able to maybe just cannon the pink and red. So he's only going to get one chance. Search five. So he's got Search. the one chance to bring that red into play. Straight forward up to the middle. And what would you do here, Dennis? You can pop the black, try to get something, a shot on the yellow somehow. You can't miss the pink at all. You can't avoid the cannon on it. Is there any benefit just playing the snooker behind the pink? Well, it'll certainly put Mark in a lot of trouble, but he's going to play it with top spin. He might get there. Now, here comes the white. That's a brilliant effort, but where's the pink going to finish? Where is the pink going to finish? He snookered himself on the yellow. Fortunate. Very unfortunate. And he's got the double kiss. Is he going to be fortunate? It was very difficult to avoid that. Pot here though. And played it all out. Great shot, Mark Williams. Fully committed, everything on the line. No. Never ceases to amaze me this Welsh player. Forty three the difference now. He's been very, very reliable with wow, the rest. Goodness. Oh, trying to make sure he got a good angle well, on the black to bring the two reds out. He's overdone it. Needs to get a bit of action on this one. And you might say that's a bit of action. And that's the problem there. Always tricky little shots seven. when you're cutting them back. Having to swerve it shouldn't be a problem. Look at himself here. You watch the amount of side and, and swerve inside to get the angle, to get to the reds. Has he got enough on it? He sure has. Right, red's running loose. I think he's okay. The red, not the black. Oh. Wow. I mean, Judd, when he gets in amongst the balls, is fantastic, but well, this is far from easy. Look at the shot he's taking on here. Unbelievable. One. If he were to go ahead and win this match, it would have to be up there with one of the best comebacks of all Quite time so. we've seen at the Crucible. Delicate little one. A delicate little one, and it's right in the heart of the pocket. Oh, he's gone into the bunch again. Thirty-nine. 
And this 54. is the shot coming up here. 54 in front. How's the cannon? It's pretty good. Well, this is amazing, Sean. And the great pots on the red, nonetheless. What a performance this has been by Mark Williams. 99. Absolutely incredible snooker from Mark Williams. And if the double goes in, that'll bring the house down. Judd's exhibition shots to finish off with there. It started out the best of 33 frames. And as the players go to the mid-session interval, it's now the best of five. What a semi-final we've got on our hands here. It's a good shot there, wasn't it, Dennis? Judd using the scoreboard there. Mark needs those reds. He doesn't. As you can see, Mark immediately lifting one of them. Good match play. Now Judd will be super reluctant to play the red on the right-hand side cushion. That's his insurance. And that's why he's played off two. Trying to rest into the back of the reds. Needs to go. Oh, nice. Got to go as well. So here's the warning. Well, Williams four. Williams had a similar situation where he was bridging over a ball and he he missed twice and then had to change his shot selection and that's exactly what's happening, Judd here. Nothing Thank you. easy for Mark to go at here, but he is a shot maker. Well, how close was that? And if that goes in, what a chance he had to take the frame. One. Six. Seven. And this is the key shot. He's unlucky. That's why I thought when he had the loose red, he would cannon into them because he had that as a bit of insurance. Touching ball. He's still unlucky to knock them like that. from 12 <laughs> total miss hit oh he's overcut it has oh. one I think every one in the crucible thought he'd overcut this one Six. Yeah, he looks like he's got a lot more room than he thinks. He's he's concerned about hitting the pink but he's nowhere near it in truth coming up to a minute and a half on this shot alone you can play the green 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 ball oh, that's a great shot not the shot he wanted to play either 
not always easy to reset mentally when you have to play a shot you don't really no. want to play. That's okay. Any more pace? Go. He was heading for the middle pocket, but this would put him 36 in front with just 35 remaining. He's lost the last three frames. It's only the one snooker that's needed. That's round 15. Oh. One. Now, can he get the white right up near the yellow? Here it comes, and he's given himself a decent chance putting the cue ball there to get the snooker that he requires. Eight. Tight in behind the brown. He got a kick. He got a horrendous kick there. Back with him, eight. Well played. Good escape. Yellow safe uh, while attempting the snooker. Well, he decided to pop the yellow. And, well, maybe not a bad idea, but he had a chance of a snooker, but he thought if I can pop the yellow. Two. Five. Nine. Good start after the interval, just what Judd Trump 40. and his supporters needed. 20, Judd He's not Trump bothered Trump. about the black. He's come out after that mid-session interval and taken this first frame. And he's back in the lead. 15-14. Wales versus England. Where's the red going? Where is the red? Going to finish up. One. Chance for Mark to play a gentle stone into the Eight. corner red of the pack to hold position for the black. Two, two more reds out into play. Mark Williams on the charge. 60. And in this one to 17. draw level. But as we get in towards the line now, every single mistake becomes magnified. attack and counter-attack. 25. Mm, needs to creep past that red and that's a mistake. 32. Mm, this red into the right middle pocket. It's a lot more difficult than it looks. Very, very nice. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. He's made it to look very easy. That stun run through is such a tough shot to pull off. Forty-five. Forty-six. Thirty-three. Fabulous shot there. 
Fifty-four. Sixty-two. Well, this is awesome from the Welshman here. Sixty-nine. Seventy. Seventy-six. Seventy-seven. Eighty four, eighty five, ninety one, ninety two, ninety eight. Awesome play. Ninety nine, make that sixteen centuries. Seven. Thank you. It's 2002 since Stephen Henry made 16 centuries at the Crucible in the World Championship. The West Potting Machine has equaled that. Unbelievable. Mark Williams, and well, that's what they think about it. He's all squared again. It's 15 frames each. as he sits down in his chair. I'm not sure it was a smile of happiness, though. Eight. Nine. But what a semi-final they have treated us to here. Sixteen. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. He's just a bit higher on this black than he would have wanted to be. No, he's missed it. Now, does one of those reds shoot into this Mark Willow, bottom right-hand corner pocket? Oh, that's not a bad cannon. One. He's got quite a way to travel here. And that's not where he wanted the cue ball. Five. That wasn't easy. It has the double kiss. He might have got away with this. I think this red will sneak in, though. It's a thin one. Mark's still in his seat. Now, what's the matter here? Is it this one? Yeah, I think he just looked straight into the light, the staging lights around the rig here above the table. Just needs to take a second here.
going to need the rest again. Four. Oh, Very five. strong with the rest. Mark Williams in this game. Yeah, 28 out of 30, he's knocked in with the rest. Yeah, trying to power the cue ball in across the table. Happy to leave the red and black where they are. Happy to leave that red on the cushion. Doesn't need that. Yeah, there's two reds that he's going to come around and have a look at, but they'll be going on to the red and black, as you can clearly see there. games now. Just the containing safety. Nothing wrong with that at all. Just a little bit of a stalemate. Judd will just keep tapping into them and then the referee could say we're going to give you three more shots and then we'll have to think about a re-rack it's the red nearest the black spot here that's causing all the trouble it's preventing either player returning to this end of the table because that's there it's potable into the right middle pocket that's solved the problem now no chance of a stalemate Needs to get past these reds. Well, he's tying all the reds up at the moment. Can he see enough of this red? He certainly could. What a shot that is. He hasn't One. quite come far enough. Another wonderful pot and position there. Seven. Oh, that is unbelievable. I mean, that Judge is seven. incredible. What a heavy contact. Thank you. And a kick that was. Well, look at that. The ball left the bed of the table and... It prevented the red from going in. Can't believe it. That shot One. from Judd Trump is why 90% of all tour players have moved away from using that traditional brand of chalk that we all grew up using. That shot there. To cost him a shot like that at this stage of a tournament. I'm not sure why anyone would continue using it. Everybody thought he missed the blue. <laughs> he played to put the blue Mark safe. Swan. He might go close to doubling this red, you know. He might go very close to doubling the red. Wow. Swan. What a shot. How can he pot the black and avoid canning that red? left hand side and just stroke the cue ball off the cushion needs to move those reds yeah that is what he played and you can see as his arm drops to the table how disappointed he was and what a shot he's faced with now to pot the green and cannon the reds there's the green here comes the white looks good to me oh is he on that one next to the pink that's a brilliant effort to get the cue ball into the reds was exceptional. Thirteen. <laughs> and play for the blue to drop in behind that red down the cushion. Twenty-two. 
20. Don't think he has the angle there to move it. Looks like the cue ball's going above the red. But he could play to just drop in behind it. It always looked high to me, that. 27. This is all about keeping that red away from your opponent. No. Is it hard enough? It Twenty is. 27. He's got the cover with the blue. Too well to get it safe. Have a look at this. Wow. Well, Judge stood in his seat. He can't believe the outcome of that shot. He's got to get so much side on this. Watch the white. That's a great effort. That's a brilliant effort. Interesting little interaction there, Mark. I'm trying to make a bit of a joke of the situation. Judd having none of it. All business. Well, you can see the, the red full in the face, but it's very, looks much like a double kiss if he plays red up and down. Yes, he got that double kiss there. That's what he was worried about. Very nice angle on the black. Now which pocket will he play for the yellow in? Played into a zone. Doesn't want to hit the yellow. Doesn't want to hit the yellow. Eight. Why does this always happen here? <laughs> Trump, a look eight. to see if he has got the snooker. And he didn't. You could see enough of it, but is he hard enough to get in behind the, the pink? He tried to get in behind the black. Two. This is coming up a little bit short. Mark can have a go with this green into the right corner. They are engrossed in this semi final. He just rolled the blue in and he's on the pink, but what an effort. But the courage, Dennis, to go all out for it. If he missed it, he left it. Mark Williams, seven. He's given Mark the opportunity to put the blue safe and get in behind the black. And this looks pretty good. It's caught at half ball. He needs blue and pink. Mark Williams who takes it and now he's just one frame away from a place in the final. That's Mark Williams who gets this frame underway. 
Well, Mark Williams has left this shot off every break off his blade today. Judd's missed them all so far. Is this the one he's going to get? Wow. How hard did Judd hit that? Tresses with right hand side came across trying to self correct. We've talked about it a lot during this championship. And now it's out of Judd's hands. Nothing he can do from here on in. Mark straight into the Reds. How's his luck? Well, that first glance is not on Six. an easy one, that's for certain. They're all covering each other. It's amazing to hit them that hard and cover everything. You can see the one up past the blue. <laughs> I think he wants to take this on. So here we go. ridiculous shot to play at 16 15 up incredible what courage composure technique must play the brown here awkward queuing on the green needs to make every shot as straightforward as possible at this moment 11 I know he's played for that gap but the Cannon on the red has left it very awkward now. Well, I'll tell you what, that is the best thing that could have happened for Mark Williams. Once he missed the blue, going into the middle pocket has helped him because that white would have been right in amongst the reds. Now, can he knock a long one in? He's unlucky, I think. One. If he's not on the pink, he's cursed. Very unfortunate. The Trump one. Good line. How's the length? And good shot. Advantage Trump. Important this. Important this to check. Does he have a full ball contact? I think he does. Because if he plays a safety shot and tries to skim off any reds, be very, very important to the three misses in your out roll. Well, if he's trying to arc the cue ball off this red between the two reds near the pink spot and back home. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Amazing fluke. He's missed cutting the black in. And look at how the table's sitting now. One. Excellent. Eight. And get a nice little nudge onto blue. He's played it well. Nine. Played it very well.
23. Unbelievable player who's won 23 ranking titles. Oh, has the kiss on the pink. Not good. As he hangs his head. There's so much pressure on both these players now. How can Judd pop this red? He can. And what a shot of his own. And can he get past the reds for the pink? Yeah, he certainly can, Sean. Eight. Pretty straightforward to get on the red next to the green here. And the other two reds are available. Mm, that's a mistake. He should have been higher on the red so he could pot it and come back for the pink. 40. That would have made getting to the next red so much easier as it is now. The brown is the ball 50. that will get him up to the reds. He's 31 in front, so he needs the brown and one more red. And here comes the cue ball, and this looks pretty good. If it bounces off the cushion. 19. Decision time. The red near the blue is very missable. If he drops the red in along the cushion, it's almost unmissable, but doesn't really want to move this one. Oh, it's difficult at that pace, trying to force the angle. It's Judge's turn for a slice of good fortune. Having missed the red, that could have gone anywhere. Yeah, I'm still baffled by Judd's choice of shot there when he only needed the red. I mean, he only needs the red to be 36 in front, and he's hammered the red. It's hard enough, I don't think so. Heading up towards the yellow and brown, this looks good. Is there a gap? Where's the cue ball? Oh. Much. But now, I don't know if he can screw. This is very missable. comes one two three four cushions four cushions and just a little bit too pacey what an effort Mark just looks over to Judd and says, that's enough. 
We're going to have a one frame shootout. It's 16 frames all. John Parrott always says that you just want one chance in the deciding frame. This is a half chance. But looking at the angle, can he drop on the black if it goes in? Judd has been two finals and won one. And Mark has been in four finals and won three. 32 frames and there's only 30 odd points between them. In total points scored. I'll run through the stats at the start of this final frame. off the red near the pink he plays off the red near the black spot needs to be careful not to push a red over well he has pushed reds to that corner and that little flick on the green might have made the difference there he might have to get down and just try and roll that red into the left corner and it's okay not sure if the red passes the pink to the middle pocket. If the white was right in behind it, you might be able to roll it in. They have an element of safety. Judd's turn to have a fluke, but if he's straight on the yellow, he won't be able to get back to his next red. Is he going to tuck in behind it? Not a bad choice. Yeah, and I think that is the evolution of Judd Trump as a snooker player complete. Many seasons ago, he would have just got down and played the brown, probably would have potted it. Recently, in the last few seasons, he probably would have got down and smashed the yellow in. But I think his development into the all-round player is now complete with that shot. Sometimes you've got to just hit and hope. <laughs> Here we go. Attention all pockets. Attention all pockets. Here we go. Is there anything in? There is a two in. Well, one in. Unbelievable red, but he's got a tough blue. Overcut it. And now that Mark chance Williams won. is there for Judd Trump. But it's far from easy to get onto his first colour. good skill indeed and now this is where you need the clarity when the pressure is on the most Six. try to make one good decision after another seven twelve thirteen Ninety. 
Twenty. It's got quite a way to travel with the cue ball. It's not straightforward to drop on his next red. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Mark can't do anything. Only sit. But there's pressure on every shot. Thanks, doesn't, to, doesn't need to worry about those reds over on the left-hand side of the table. Is there going to be one more twist in this? 41. Enthralling semi final. He's picked off all the easy reds. Now it's starting to get a little bit more difficult. He's come up quite a bit short. Yeah, and of course he wants to be on the black in a way that he can get to the other red. To stun that a little bit. You can't just drop that in with left hand side to get out and get the angle. And that makes the shot a bit harder. Incredible. He's overdone it, overcut it. Well, I thought there might be another twist, but. One. And now Judd's got to sit there and see what Mark can do, but Eight. look at the four difficult reds. Nine. Chance to maybe develop the one that's nearest the middle pocket. Cannon into that. did have, but he slipped round the back of it, but there's still a potential pot on. There's so much pressure on it. And there's the perfect angle for that great pot on the red. Perfect angle to move those two reds if he wants. hit that with any conviction. There was a bit of body Point movement four. there as he hit that cue ball. Just wondering if he can get in behind the yellow. <laughs> the drama continues. Wow. He's enjoying it. And it's not hitting a red here that's the problem, it's playing it in a way that has the least liability. Very good shot. Excellent shot. <laughs> Might go towards the other corner pocket. It's coming towards the other corner pocket. One. He pulled one of those off previously. This is the time to put a colour safe. Good Good shot. He pulled it off previously. And he only needs the red. It's a tricky one along the cushion, but he only needs it. Five.
was that relief the way he stood up it's been a remarkable semi-final that these two players have Hi, produced team. what an effort Mark Williams has put in here he's thinking about it say Dennis I've been watching the snooker from here since I was a nine-year-old child this is one of the best matches I've ever seen at the crucible theater well I've been coming here since 1977 when we first played the world championship at the magnificent crucible so I've haven't seen a better match than this Three. This has got a chance. Can't blame Mark for carrying on here. It's um, put such a gallant effort into winning this semi-final 7-1 behind uh, this one's not as easy ah uh, this looks good it might be at least 12 snookers because your opponent's gonna hit the majority of them and here it comes again. Where's that cue ball? It's okay. What an effort this is, by the way. What an effort this is. If the brown doesn't hit the blue, I think everyone thought that was in. Well, that makes it a lot more accessible for snookers with the pink next to the black. Find the gap, would you believe it? Let's roll the brown. It looks <laughs> not quite. Four. Another. Good effort. He's <laughs> got to try and keep the blue safe each time.
can he see enough of it to take it into the middle or is it a roll up to the corner it looks good it looks very good it's in and Mark Williams comes forward these two players have given us one of the best semi-finals ever seen in the history of the world championship here at the Crucible Centre they're getting a standing ovation and look what it means to Jim Trump he gets himself into his third final remarkable match he takes it 17 frames to 16.